Why, hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us on this marvelous journey and helping making Union Cross the game it could be or should be in the near future. Now, in case you don't know what's happening, I don't either, it's okay, but we're gonna go with it. But essentially, what you need to know, <laughs> basically what you already know is that today, the survey that we've been told that we're gonna get has finally come into, uh, into Union Cross, and well, I'm gonna be doing my own personal survey as well in on the video for you guys to watch, uh, in case you, any of you guys wanna take some of the ideas or examples that I provided, uh, and including your own survey and such, um, and just to kind of take a look at it too. But other than that, let's, let's start the video. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and like I mentioned before, we're going to be going over the new survey that's currently in the game at the moment. Now, just to let you guys know, uh, the only way to access the survey, as far as I'm aware, is that you have to go into the notices. So, if you click on Menu, click on Other, go to Notices, okay? There's a bunch of things right here. It'll be this one called right here, 829. Player feedback survey now available. You have to click on this. Uh, it will not pop up anywhere else, so make sure you click on this, okay? And in order to take the survey, and just to let you guys know too, by doing the survey, you will be awarded uh, 3,000 jewels for doing per, for participating in this survey. So it's a nice little incentive to actually do the survey too. Uh, but if you, ha you have to scroll all the way down, and just so you're aware too, you also need to have your player ID. I wrote mine down uh, on a piece of paper already. So you might want to do the same before going ahead and participating. Uh, just to make sure you actually write it down correctly uh, and don't forget about it either. Because you will not get the 3000 jewels if you either typed it incorrectly or you didn't input it in the first place. So make sure you do it right the first time. So we're going to go ahead and take the survey. I haven't seen much of the survey yet myself. so. A lot of this is going to be new for me, too. All right. So, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Player Survey. Input confirmation submission complete. Okay. So, uh, let me go ahead and type in my player ID. Okay. So, I typed in my player ID. So, the first question they have is, how new are you to Kingdom Hearts Union and Cross? Um, I've more or less been playing since launch. Uh, I had, like, a small, like, two, three month gap at the very beginning, but I, I've pretty much been playing since the very beginning. On a scale between 1 to 10, with 10 being the best, please berate my current experience with Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. To be honest, it's going to be low. <laughs> it's going to be low. It's not a 10. Honestly, I would put it near, near like a 3 or 4, to be honest. Um, it ha It's only until literally just recently that it's been having actual more legit content lately but even then some of it's been kind of mm, not the greatest so uh just for the fact of like having them get off their butts i'm gonna put a three um which isn't too far i might have given it a four if i was being you know more real but i'm giving it a three what do you focus on playing the most or yeah when playing kingdom Hearts Union cross to be honest it's it's a mix um evolving like the, the fact they even made this an option to me i hate that i hate the fact that they even added the option of evolving metals to seven star like like even during their own survey <laughs> anyways getting the best medals for pvp pve now this i understand there are some people who are actually who only really majorly go for, you know, Colosseum and stuff like that. I had a few people like that in my, some old party members who were like that as well. So I understand people who are interested in that aspect. I know a lot of people are interested in story quests. Uh, Union Cross is absolutely terrible. Um, they really need to add a multiplayer function. When I say multiplayer function, I mean like a legit, I want to play with anybody that I actually care about. Um, not saying that I don't care about my, my my party members, but, you know, people I actually know in real life type of thing. That's what I mean. Like, you know, if I want my, if I want my brother to join, uh, and play with him and stuff, I don't, I shouldn't have to have it where he has to be in my party in order to do that. Um, as well as in the same union. It is called Union Cross, so you're playing with other people in different unions. Uh, as, 
Like, in the fact, like, it, it, there's just so many things wrong with the fact you can only play with your party members. So, for the most part, though, I am here for the story and event quests. Uh, the fact I can't choose multiple is a problem as well. Um, but for the most part, I, like, story quests are pretty easy. And I'm, I'm going to say the event quests just solely because of the fact that as long as we have good content within the game... I'm more or less okay with story quests not appearing as often, okay? Because, you know, the event guests, the event quests are like what are realistically, that's what gets most of us going. Um, things like Organization 13 fights and stuff. Uh, now, even though the critical mode thing for the summer adventure wasn't exactly what we expected it to be, um, the level of difficulty for it was definitely like what I enjoy. So it's like i need good event quests in my opinion that like that that's what is what sustains the game more or less or like good events um, and there's so much they could easily be doing in terms of good events but they just don't do um so i'm gonna put event quests for that um what if anything did you like about the game so this one's gonna be hard because of the fact that there's to be honest there's there's very few things about the game that I actually truly enjoy at this point <laughs> and even and when they do pop up they're not nearly as often as they should be um so it is this one's gonna be fun and it's only in 510 characters too which isn't which isn't a lot all right so for now for this first question uh what if anything did you like about the game maximum of 510 characters uh this is what i put so far i put fun fair difficult quests events with story such as like the summer adventure for example it doesn't have to be like actual canon storyline or anything in regards to the game but it would be nice to actually receive more cutscenes, like what the summer adventure had for example um i put pvp gameplay just to be specific because i do actually enjoy pvp i just don't enjoy how the rewards are handled um i like the organization 13 missions just because those are actually fun uh, and we're fighting like these super infamous characters from kingdom hearts like that's the whole point of it that's what makes them enjoyable sure they're hard as hell but that's kind of what adds to the challenge and what also makes them more enjoyable and stuff like that like everyone looks forward to the organization 13 event they're one they're one of the few things within the game that people constantly enjoy coming back to uh and i feel like we need more stuff like that honestly i would prefer more permanent stuff like that like i would enjoy like a permanent like a uh, mode that always has like imagine if you could always fight axel uh permanently once he's added you can always fight him permanently and when you beat him you manage to get all the rewards from him. like imagine if we had that that would be fantastic uh it would also give a lot of players the chance to aren't able to beat it now a chance to come back and beat like them some other time and get the rewards later like to me like to me like that's what should happen but we don't get that and like to me that's 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 ridiculous all right so for this question i uh i went ahead and wrote it out this one's actually really lengthy <laughs> uh so we're gonna go ahead and go through this and i pretty much put down everything that is more or less wrong with this game okay with the very first one being that the vip and shop pricings are too expensive uh, there's not enough permanent difficult quests with good rewards in the game. Um, so, like, for example, there are those one, like, Proud Mo quests that are always in the event section that give you, like, uh, those, like the adamantite or, like, the, the sun gems or whatever. They upgrade some of the the other keyblades. Like, like those those have been there since the beginning of the game, and those are sort of super easy to do now with the current medals and severely outdated. I would, like missions in the game like imagine like i don't know if you guys remember but they showed off sephiroth as being within the game fairly soon like about a year ago and we haven't seen sephiroth at all period in this game so far yet so imagine if there was a, a permanent game mode that you could always fight like uh some of the most infamous characters from kingdom hearts within the events section and when you beat them you get some really good rewards like imagine if there was if there was specific medals in the game that are only obtainable by beating these uh special infamous infamous characters from union cross from these permanent quests okay these permanent difficult quests too 
Um, I feel like there needs to be more missions like that. Those type of missions are what would help make players such as myself, uh, that would give veteran players an actual challenge to actually have fun and fight against. And they also give intermediate and beginner players uh, a challenge to look forward to beating as well, okay? I feel like something like that would be really, really fun and exciting to go through as well in this game. Like, would honestly give a, like, just give a, a whole new breath of life to the game. If just something simple like that uh, were to appear. Um, so, like, imagine if Organization 13 quests were permanent, for example, and instead of giving trait medals, they give actual their actual medals instead. Something like that in a permanent version, I feel like would be fantastic. I also said constant banners. This one shouldn't need too much explanation. They, they are literally spitting out way too much banners in this game, and we're not getting enough jewels to be able to keep up with it. Um... Non-free-to-play, terrible fairy ticket distribution. This should also be fairly obvious. Uh, there's currently no other way in the game aside from PvP and VIP in order to get tickets, which is complete BS. Um, money, SIDS, Nova, Avatar coins, and Colosseum coins, coins are completely useless. Uh, this should be. This shouldn't need too much explanation as well. Money is completely useless in this game. You get more money than you actually spend in this game, which is insane like what's the point of having money then uh sids are practical uses as well you can literally uh if you have max cost which isn't too much too hard to get you can literally only need seven sids in order to have all your medals equipped on a keyblade that's ridiculous seven sids you can get seven sids in like easily two days like two three days easily okay not on top of uh not only are sids given constantly as rewards they're literally useless, okay? Not only are they given as rewards in so many quests, regardless of their difficulty, um, but you also can get three of them from the daily Sid quest anyways. Like, they, they're completely useless. Nova, Nova, ever since Kyrie EX, the illustrated Kyrie EX came out and stuff, Nova basically took a huge hit and became pointless. It used to be where Nova, like having a high Nova level, that was like a symbol of status. And that's what you saw after. Like you actually had a reason to try and guilt all these other random medals because you wanted a high Nova level. These days, Nova doesn't even matter because your medals do so much damage that Nova is like nothing. You might as well be using a tier one or two medal and do as much damage with that as your Nova. Like it's, it's terrible. Um, so I feel like they really need to like buff Nova or something uh, to make it useful again, especially for things like PvP, like it does nothing. Avatar coins, this one should also be self-explanatory. Once you get past level 300, you don't get any more uh, avatar boards to use your avatar coins on. Um, and it's really easy to get avatar coins. They give avatar coins and like almost as often as they give said medals. They give them in raid weeks, they give them in mission quests. Uh, you get them from leveling up like you get wait you get so many of them that it's almost not worth having them anymore like, it's so easy to complete the avatar boards at this point uh for new for just anybody even beginners um coliseum coins these are also basically used as well because they only have up to a tier 11 coliseum board and that's so easy to get past as well for like anybody these days tier 11 is anybody can get past tier 11 it's it's not that hard and we just end up with this like huge amount of Colosseum coins with nothing to use them on for an entire month. And it's just like, why do we have this? And right here, I kind of just stated what I just said. Not enough free to play avatar and Colosseum boards. Tier three fairies and silver tickets. That's also self-explanatory. Those should just be taken out or at the very least make the, uh, make the proc rates for getting them a lot more fair. Like in, tier and like gold tickets for example the distri distribution between all of the tiers are like more or less even okay but in silver tickets you literally have a 50 percent chance of getting a tier three fairy from a silver ticket that's ridiculous that like that should like why who was the idiot that thought that up uh i also said most vip medals aren't very useful now i understand that a lot of vip medals are meant for proud mode or whatever okay but that doesn't change the fact that they are still not very good medals compared to other medals that are actually used within the game already if the whole point of getting vip uh, with all these, like, incentives they put in there to get you to buy VIP end up not being very good. There's no reason, there's almost no reason to actually get VIP. And the VIP medals are one of those problems. 80% of the time these days, they're just 
not very good to actually worth getting VIP aside from the jewels. Literally, the jewels are like one of the only things actually worth getting a VIP for. Um, and even VIP itself is just too expensive for what it's actually offering. Uh, next thing I put was Raid Week rewards suck. I didn't want to go past the, the character limit. I don't know how many characters I've inputted already, so I just kind of just said that. They need to be upgraded. Um, gems, the, the amount of gems rewarded in raid weeks are insignificant, uh, especially with how easy it is to get to like level 35 Keyblades these days. It, it, you don't get enough of them. Um, and especially if you're trying to get your Keyblade past level 35, the amount of jewels required to get past level 35 just to get a small marginal return of investment <laughs> from the amount of gems you put, it's so minuscule, it's not even worth upgrading realistically uh you're better off just upgrading your other keyblades who are not to level level 35 yet um before upgrading anything past level 35. i also put can't directly play with friends in pvp and union cross this is probably one of the most things i hate the most about union cross and pvp is literally every single time i hear the words multiplayer for a Kingdom Hearts related title, even, yes, even this mobile title, I like my base expectation as a player, as a Kingdom Hearts player as well, is to at least be able to directly play with anybody I want, okay? Or at least with my friends. I don't care, no, and when I say my friends, I don't mean just my party, I mean anybody I want. I wanna be able to play, like input your player ID or something and be like, yo, I wanna challenge you to a duel. All right, let's go, PvP style. Or like, you know what? My OP friend over here, Brian, uh, is gonna go help carry me in Union Cross. I wanna get some of his help, that'll be fun, okay? Help out, all that good stuff. Interaction, like it's human interaction that makes multiplier portions of games actually fun and enjoyable to do. When you don't have that, it's not fun and enjoyable to do for a lot of people. Uh, so that's a problem. Um, I also put more diff more slash different utility and strategies in PvP aside from damage, turtling, and ailments. Uh, I, I put a simple example like an accessory that lets you fly and be an air type. Um, and also another one like a new skill type like reflect. Like imagine if we had a new skill type uh, called reflect, you know, like the magic and stuff like that, and that lets you deal back like an counter attack to an opponent in PvP, or even just in the game in general, uh, a portion of the damage that they dealt to you, like, you know, a, a counterattack, uh, in the middle of their turn as well. I think something like that would be dope and would add quite a little bit new layer of, like, strategies, and would also help out turtling too at the same time. Um, I think it would be a pretty cool ability. Um, but just create creative things like this. I feel like just need to be added to the game to not only make PvP more enjoyable, but to make the game more enjoyable as well. Because the combat system in P in the game is kind of simplistic at this point. That it's getting a little a little too much, too linear, uh, where it's not really making people enjoy the game as much as they used to when first starting and such. Uh, I also put communication is terrible, vague, manipulative, and untrustworthy. Now I put this, and I hope this should more or less be obvious for people who've been watching me for a while but it's no surprise or even if you've just been playing the game for a very long time it is no surprise that square enix likes to hide behind their pr stunts um, and like to stall for as long as possible before actually Im implementing anything uh that we've been asking for for quite a long time and by the time they actually do implement it it's already too late and there's something else uh that's the problem that those fixes that we were asking for are no longer as relevant anymore as they needed to be you know like a year ago um they literally do this on purpose and it's it's absolutely terrible i would prefer if they were just simply one a lot more considerate kind of like how they've been doing more or less the last few posts uh, a lot more considerate towards the player base in terms of like what's going on behind the scenes um such as like if something's taking too long just let us know just tell us something's wrong what it is and don't lie about it either don't lie to our faces promising something that you're not actually going to deliver i shouldn't have to say anything more about that uh you know for a fact they love using vague language uh to not like they'll just give us like oh and you get fab like just the word fabulous awards we've all heard the word fabulous awards so many times these days and that can literally mean anything from my experience they'll literally state what the best stuff is and then they'll hide all of the minuscule stuff behind fabulous rewards when they're not really fabulous at all they're literally useless and insignificant and obsolete in this game <laughs>
<laughs> just for the sake of making it sound fancy. All right, I hate that. And untrustworthy, that's that's literally just from all the combination of things they've done in this game. Um, especially with just how blatantly they'll try and rob us of it. I should also put uh, blatant fash, uh, cash grabs. I'm, I'm going to put that as well. Oh, I'm also going to add the lack of reprint banners. Oh, my bad. Reprint banners. Because we all know that they literally... Once they print a banner, they never, they almost never release the same banner again. Especially for a lot of new players who join the game, they might actually need some of these older medals. So the fact that you don't have this is just ridiculous. So I think that's it for now. We'll go ahead to the next question. Uh, what improvements in game would you prefer to take priority in PvP? Uh, ranking mechanics, quality of rewards, keyblade rotations, other. To be honest, I feel like, I mean, more or less, I feel like Keyblade rotations are basically okay. Um, there's only 15 Keyblades in the game. I'm going to put quality of rewards because that's that's the main thing that I think that needs to take priority over anything else. The ranking mechanics have kind of already been improved a little bit that it's okay for those to take a little bit of a back seat. Uh, you know, with, uh, with the restriction of how far you can go ahead and challenge person in the rankings, uh, that definitely helped out quite a bit. Uh, so I was happy with that. Uh, it's really just the quality of rewards, you know, the tickets and, and such. Um, and point rewards in PvP and uh, just the rewards within each bracket. I do believe uh, that gold tickets should be, at least be in top 5,000. You could even just take away all the bronze and silver and have just the one gold ticket. I feel like that would be okay. That would make it a lot more like enjoyable um and accessible to people too all right so next thing are there any other mobile titles that you enjoy playing besides kingdom hearts union cross all right so this one's more of like a personal uh personal one like for obviously for each player everyone's gonna have played a different amount of mobile games but for me i put final fantasy record keeper uh fire emblem heroes and brave from tier these are ones that i've played but final fantasy i i honestly really like the final fantasy record keeper game it's a lot of fun um it, it is like <laughs> so much story a little bit too much that i care about reading um but a lot of fun i started once they did the final fantasy record keeper collaboration event um within the games and to this day i still use sora and riku as my main party like damage dealers and stuff because like how can i not like i wanted to make a kingdom hearts meme team like <laughs> but i enjoy the quest the the quests are fun i like the new mode that they added where you can actually live the story too in a different way uh, i think that's cool you get like mithril on everything it's it's like it's 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 a lot more enjoyable as a free-to-play player i should say um i don't spend any money on it but it's a lot more enjoyable i used to play brave frontier 2 uh that was honestly what got me started into gacha games in the first place what was brave frontier i could not like literally brave frontier was by far one of the best games i've ever played in terms of gacha games uh and the only reason why i quit was because like not because the game was bad but because of the fact that i knew i had to stop myself before i got to the point of no return uh that was the that was the thing like i was literally dishing out so much money on it that was like i knew this was a problem for me and so i had to force myself to quit that, that was why i stopped uh, but it was such a good game there was constant like literally every single time when i finally finished uh the next batch of story quests that they did they literally released a whole new batch of story quests like they were their timing was always on point uh, there was never, they never ran out of things to do in that game. Like it was absolutely fantastic. Um, so I like to this day, I went back and downloaded it again and I was just blown away by how much more they've had. I'm like, holy crap. Uh, and I even got the idea of the permanent, uh, hard challenging quests idea that I just said earlier in the video, uh, because it was in Brave Frontier. I literally got the idea from Brave Frontier. So they, they do a lot of great stuff in that game. So. Oh, I remember what it was. I forgot that I knew I wanted to act uh, that there needs there is a lack of universal trait medals as well. Trait medals. And this is solely because of the fact that sure, we have trait medals in the game, but they're pretty much only for, you know, the latest exclusive medals. Like, you know, Organization 13 and random other medals too. The whole point of wanting trait medals in the game 
was to make medals such as the exclusive collaborative medals such as you know the FFRK where we've like in Terra for example um, or even you know high score challenge medals like Bob and Jack Jack you can't get you can't add more traits to those to those medals anymore like you're literally stuck with whatever traits you get and to me that's terrible so that was the whole point of wanting universal trait medals the way they implemented traits in this game was absolutely ridiculous and scummy and i i still hate them to this day all right so that's it for today guys that was my survey um i legitimately tried to put in as much as i could i actually barely fit the character limit i was at like 509 characters um i had to shorten it a little bit as well but i was able to put input everything so please by all means express the, in the things that you didn't like about the game <laughs> by all means feel free to copy any stuff that i put um there are just so many things wrong with this game and that honestly, putting it in a 510 character limit was kind of difficult, but I managed to make it work. Uh, but yeah, the more of us that can consistently say the same thing over and over to the to them, the more likely they'll probably focus on those things because they see more and more people actually stating the same topics. So that was it for today, guys. I just wanted to go over that with you. I thought it would be a nice video to kind of do together. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos like this one. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are about the survey, what you didn't or didn't say. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually redo the survey in case you forgot something. But my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.